in a move that really should surprise no one at this point, the MCU is doing what they continue to do, what they've set out to do, what they've stated they're going to do with this upcoming She-Hulk Disney Plus series, which looks horrible. The CGI looks terrible. They've told people, don't worry about it, but you know, you should be worried about it. This article from Bounding into Comics tells exactly what they're planning going forward. She Hulk Disney Plus series to remove Bruce Banner's role in Jennifer Walters' origin depicts her as being the better Hulk. Of course, she's a woman and she's green. She has to be the better Hulk. To the surprise of few, very, 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 very few, probably no one at this point, the latest previews for She-Hulk Attorney at Law have confirmed that Marvel's next Disney Plus outing will be a textbook example of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's current direction. As not only will the series portray the Jade Giantess as a stronger and more competent version of Bruce, but also change her comic book origin in order to make her story more independent from her male cousins. Now, here she is and I've seen breaking the fourth wall and talking to them. I, I, I mean, I've stated before in videos I've done, She-Hulk does not need to be CGI. Because of the nature of how She-Hulk is supposed to look, you could have gotten a, 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 a female bodybuilder that's not, not, not like heavily muscular, but somebody who is fit and toned to play the role of She-Hulk. You could have had somebody play Jennifer Walters and you could have somebody play She-Hulk. Just like how they did in the old Hulk series, it would work. This doesn't. This does not work at all. It looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. And to be honest with you, Hulk in this doesn't even look much better. The former aspect of her character was first revealed in a series trailer which made its public debut on July 23rd as part of Marvel's San Diego Comic Con debuts. Yeah, I saw that. Looks terrible. Really, really terrible. Therein, Jen can be seen responding to Bruce's demonstration of how to use her newfound super strength by hurling a larger boulder than the one he did with far less effort. Yeah, she is holding up the, the, the bigger boulder that, that he picked up and throwing it like it's nothing. Meeting Bruce's instruction in the use of yoga as a method of Hulk control with an incredibly dexterous display of the apparent fact that she's already mastered her abilities. Yeah, she was like some flexible looking insect thing. Because, you know, remember, she's a woman and this is, I am woman, hear me raw, I'm green. And you must not put anything that makes me look terrible. And even blowing the Avenger away with what seems to be her first use of the signature thunderclap move. This is going to be a train wreck. It should be noted that at this point in the MCU's timeline, Bruce has lived with his gamma-fueled other self for at least 15 years, having already been the Green Goliath for a few years before his chronological MCU de debut in 2008. While Jen has been a member of the Hulk family for, and this is being extremely generous, I mean like really, really extremely generous, presumably no more than six months so yeah in six months she has become a stronger better more accomplished more amazing hulk than any other hulk that, 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 that even hulk could possibly be that makes perfect sense regarding the aforementioned change to her origin this was detailed by she hulk actress tatiana maslani in a separate behind the scenes feature at God, look at this, man. This looks horrible. Look at that. Lord. Speaking to the events that leave her character feeling green, Maslani explained, Jennifer Walters is an attorney 
who has accidentally taken in the Hulk's blood and become She-Hulk. In footage playing on the lead actress voiceover, this, uh, this accidental exposure is shown to come from her rescuing Bruce from a wrecked vehicle after the two are involved in an accident. So they get into this accident. She saves him because, you know, you know, he's man. Man can't save woman. No, no, no. She must save him. She's the strong, confident woman and he's just the, 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 the washed up um, dust rag of a man in the corner there. She saves him and gets accidentally, ex takes in some of his blood, you know, probably two, three drop or something like that. And that's all it takes. This depiction of Jen's origins deviates drastically, very drastically, from the one depicted in the comics. As while the Disney Plus series keeps her cousin's blood as a factor in her transformation, as seen in her debut within the pages of Stan Lee Penn Savage She-Hulk number one, it does its best to act to all but eliminate Bruce's role in facilitating the start of a superhero career. This is one Savage She-Hulk. Originally, rather than through her own heroic efforts, Jen was exposed to her cousin's gamma-radiated blood after being gunned down by a hitman hired to prevent her from defending someone they had framed. Unable to find any immediate medical assistance and taking note of the fact that she had already lost a worrying amount of blood, Bruce makes the executive decision to perform an emergency blood transfusion between himself and Jen, saving her life at the cost of setting her on the path to an eventual membership on the rosters of the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, and Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now, tell me that doesn't make a more interesting story so many things in that to set up i mean she gets if, if they had gone with that she gets shot um by some hitmen who wanted to suffer from from um, from, from, from defending somebody who they had freed she gets the she gets um he has to, bruce has to bruce has to do a blood transfusion to save her life she becomes she hulk you now get an opportunity to, to, for, for, for her to be a opportunity for, for these hitmen and who hired them, what's going on, a bigger conspiracy, something. You have her and Hulk actually having to work together to do something to, to, to stop this. Instead, they, they're in a car accident. She saves him, takes in probably two, three drops of his blood and, and bobs your uncle. Bam, she suddenly, she Hulk and could do it better than better than he ever could and looks absolutely horrible in this dreadful cgi that's what's supposed to make sense there in an in, in an interesting aside the lowered standards of being able to receive derivative powers from a simplex which is the hulk's blood rather than a rather than an, an explicit com combining of one's own blood with his directly retcons established mcu canon as seen in the Incredible Hulk after accidentally consuming a bottle of soda tainted by Bruce's blood, an old man played by Stanley falls ill with radiation poisoning rather than turning into some sort of aging or grey Hulk. Yeah. I mean, this was, this was the scene here from the um, Incredible Hulk. Stanley drank it and he got radiation poisoning. It, this, this, whole, this whole process of trying this... This thing where you know she's the better Hulk, and you know, you know, I don't need no man because I'm so amazing and I'm so it's it's it, it, it's it's dotish. That's the only way to put it. Absolutely dotish. There's no character development, no character building. You just start off, you know, woman amazing, that's it. The CGI looks terrible. I've said this from, from day one. Absolutely terrible. Everything that every, everything that they're setting up. For this series, it's just a bold face slap in the face to anybody who actually could give a damn about anything. And they never, they don't seem to stop. They're just going through the motions of acting like this series is supposed to be good. They set up early on to call everybody who, who had a problem with it, sexist, misogynist, for not, for not immediately loving it. And now you just want to come out and say, well, you know, she's going to be the better, stronger, more amazing Hulk. That nobody wants to see. The amount of people I could tell you are gonna turn, are gonna tune out this show is going, is going to be going to hit Marvel like a like a hot slap in the face.
I'll give it a look to see what it is. That I'll decide what I'm going to do if I'm going to drop it or whatnot, depending on, on how it goes. I don't want to judge it too, too prematurely, but it looks terrible. It literally looks terrible. And the setup, the setup for this story does not fill me with any hope it's ever going to get any better or ever going to do anything to actually make itself worthwhile. Terrible setup and a foolish, entirely nonsensical way. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. You'll be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.